what is up guys so today in this video I'll be explaining how to install the CM13 ROM on the Moto G 3rd generation to install the ROM you need to make sure that you have charged the device to at least 50% also you need to make sure that you have unlocked the device bootloader and also you need to make sure that you have installed the TWRP recovery okay so now first of all you need to download the ROM the links has, have been given in the description so you can take it from there so now place down the SD card for example here's mine you can see I have this CM13 ROM on my device yeah let me just simply focus it here okay now we'll be rebooting the device to TWRP recovery and then installing the ROM okay so first of all you need to turn this device off like this it won't take uh, much time but the, uh, you can follow this tutorial on any ROM maybe AOSP uh, pack ROM or any other custom ROM running let's let the device turn off first of all yeah so it's done here now you need to press the volume but uh, volume down button and the power P simultaneously like this yeah so here we are in the bootloader mode you need to let me just zoom in yeah here it is oh. yeah so select the recovery recovery mode and then press uh, power button this one and we are okay so now we are rebooting into the TWRP recovery here it is I have uh, running on the I have the latest, latest TWRP recovery so but this tutorial will work even if you have the older version of TWRP recovery okay so now first of all we need to make a backup of the current ROM so that if anything goes wrong we can come back Pr press on backup uh, make sure you have checked system data and boot partitions yeah like this also you need to go to options select enable compression uh, skip MD5 click on backup again and then swipe to confirm this won't take much time but it is very useful so in case if your device is not booting you can uh, back up, uh, restore the device so that it works just like this. okay uh, with this we have backed up all our system applications and user applications too along with the data now we are ready to wipe the data uh, so that we can install the CM13 ROM do this you need to simply click on the wipe button like this go to advanced options advanced wipe in this recovery select delivery cache system data cache and no other options make sure you don't select internal storage and micro SD card else they'll be wiped too now click on just wipe to confirm this will just take some seconds to complete now let me just zoom out back yeah click on this back button and the home button now uh, we are now ready to install CM13 ROM click on install option there ok and select storage click on internal storage if you have place the ROM on the internal storage else, uh, else micro SD card option only from there we need to select the ROM file zip here it is CM13 unofficial ROM swipe to confirm just like we had done earlier too this will take some time too yeah so here we are done and if you need to install google apps like google play store etc you need to install the google apps zip file too just like the rom okay to install that first of all you need to install the cm13 rom uh, you can follow this tut uh, tutorial only and after that you need to click on install select the gapps.zip file and then install it like this we have installed the ROM now finally we have to click on reboot button and click on the system button so now we are ready to boot to the CM13 the warning bootloader here is so here's the device back again with me now I'll be setting up to my usage I'll click on next skip this option It's taking a longer time okay let's as of now click next yeah you need to select this option too now this is based on what you need 
here we have the Sanogen Mode 13 ROM. Okay, so first of all, I'll be increasing the brightness so that you can see the device clearly. Okay, so in this ROM, you can select the device SD card or internal card based on your storage. Here I have the option to set up SanDisk SD card as internal or external storage like this. But I'll be suggesting you to use it as a portable storage only by clicking next, done. So this Marshmallow update has got many things in uh, it. Click on the, you can see the search bar is here. The system tuner. Okay, so to, first of all you need to enable the developer options if you need to root the device by clicking about phone and tapping on build number seven times. Here we have to enable it. Now the developer options is here. Advanced reboot is very useful to me, but depends on you. You need to click on yeah, the USB debugging is it has been enabled by default. Now let's search for multi windows and see if this yeah, there's the option is multi window mode. Tap on one, click on enable. This uh, this feature is not very comfortable with the phone currently, but uh, I'll be just simply showing you how to enable this. Also, the Marshmallow has new features like those, which is a battery saver, and I will show you that the battery optimization has been very much improved in the Marshmallow. Battery saved as 50%, battery optimization. So uh, there are no applications that have not been opt optimized. Click on all and you can see that all the applications are currently being opt uh, optimized now press on the home button and here you see the marshmallow again you can search for more features the screencast is here right now to record the screen but we currently don't need it now the camera application has been replaced by snapdragon camera because there were some glitches in this um, cm13 camera okay, so now here you have all the marshmallow features let me just Simply open the Easter egg. Yeah, so here's a simple game. You must have played this in uh, the Lollipop 2. Okay, well, now I'll be leaving it to here only. If you like the videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button.